All right, Fish Shows, episode two, finally here. Let's get it on. And in case you missed the last episode, here's a preview of what's coming up over the next few episodes. Yes! Just laid down. What the hell? Alright guys, don't have much to say. Pretty freaking tired. Nah. Uh, I'm waking up to the ratchet. Four to two in the morning. It's a good thing, but it still takes a bit to wake up. Still <laughs> got the rod holder save my knees and just it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he's been pretty stubborn. I don't know what it is.
see that uh, shark was pretty damn big so pretty hard to manhandle everywhere and have it in the exact right direction and it was a heaps hard time taping the thing it was missing a foot of its tail too if you look back at its tail its high bit and um, as you can see here just checking on the release the most important bit releasing these big beasts all right so on to joey baiting up a small stingray for the next drop yeah. as you can see there's a few bugs around all right so this is how i rig my rays 20 o sharky shepo hook no cable ties really simple way of doing it hook fully exposed which is really important with the circle confident with that Sweet mate, bring it in close. Give us a look ski. So what are you hoping to swallow that buddy? 13 foot hammer would be ideal. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I think a bait this size can really target a wide range of species, you know, anything from 7 foot shark to 13 really. It's just a lollipop to them when they yeah. get 10 plus, eh buddy? That's it. Sweet, let's send it. So still wet from coming in from the Zodiac dropping the bait. On the way in, this line took off, and the, you could see the line going across as we we're coming in, driving around it. And we we're like, mate, we're on, there's something on it already. So, came in, quickly skull dragged the Zodiac up the beach and grabbed a rod and reel. As you can see, this one ran towards us, and uh, you have to wind up on it and uh, really get that hook set, find the load, find the weight. And it gets really tricky when they swim towards you, it's really annoying. You can really think it's not on or what's going on here you've lost it you've just got to stay that tension on once you've found that load now joey's got absolute no excuse why he's fighting this in the rod holder <laughs> at least i had a bung knee but um yeah he was paying me out too how stupid it looked in the rod holder but here he is really trying to set that hook because that um this shark it just would not take a run we called it for a small shark early but have been wrong before but um, yeah, just pinning that uh, circle in the corner, getting it through the skin, and back it goes in the rod holder. So I think Joey's liking these early mornings when you wake up and you're tired, just sticking in the rod holder.